Welcome back to our United Chaos Challenge Mode. A few things to talk about first before we get into this inbound storm. Um, one, there might be a DLC drop tomorrow. Uh, I'm recording this Tuesday night, so it'll be today from your perspective. So there might be a DLC drop today, uh, in which case we'll try to do some coverage of that when I get a chance. Uh, normally, I would try to accommodate a deal, potential DLC drop by leaving space in the schedule for it. I cannot do that today because Wednesday is a very busy day for me. I have meetings with my research collab in the morning. Um, so there's not really any window for me to record content early if it does drop that day. So I think what we'll do is we'll stick to our usual schedule uh, as far as my recording schedules go. I'm going to record, I think, two episodes today, this episode and tomorrow's episode, um, and get those uploaded. So that's Wednesday and Thursday, recorded Tuesday night. And then if DLC does drop, um, we'll try to do something special for that, I guess. I suspect if DLC does drop, it'll be a relatively minor DLC. Maybe we'll do some shorts or something to cover that. I'm not quite sure. If it's a substantial DLC, we'll probably do a park build for it, and we'll probably have two concurrent park builds uh, until this current one we're in right here finishes. Um, but if it's a minor DLC, it won't really interrupt schedule. So that's why I figure we'll still we'll still record as normal. Uh, second thing, I'm, I'm not going to do this often, but I am doing a little bit. Uh, if, if you watch the channel uh, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe and leave a like and all that usual shit because it helps get you know visibility on the channel. I'm not going to do these calls to action all the time, but I figure I should do them occasionally at least. Um, so there, there's your there's your call to action. Whatever. Um, I hate those myself, but they do make a difference. So I should just bite the bullet and do them every now and then. Great. Immediately a gate is destroyed. Beautiful. Um, let's get both Jeeps going, whoever's closest. Monthly contract. Photography is a trick. F fighting is awful. So research is the best option. Aviary hatchery, extra scientist. Why that? Why that one? Where is that even located? Is that under the hatchery, actually? It doesn't seem to be. Extra scientist. It must be under one of these. Nobody wants to die, Cryo. I, I think if you were choking, though, you would have died by now, so. Uh, okay, there, there it is, Extra Scientist. So that's 450. So that's, like, essentially free. We'll try to do that just to get a new contract, then. Let's let this run, then. Uh, another broken fence segment. Where? Oh, right there. Nice. Cut power to the apatos, but they're pretty chill. It should be fine. Uh, do we not have... No, we do have ranger posts. They're just... They haven't been back there recently, I guess. To me as Fair enough. A resident skeptic. I, however, prefer... All right, there's another broken fence section. Let's make sure we grab that. We'll probably wait to do the repairs in the main section until later. Get that going. Uh, and then your status check in a seal of so you can grab that. I grabbed the newest Chunkings. I'm going to put them over in this section of the park. Um, they don't overlap on food, but if we do Chunking, Giga, and Arano in here with the Apatos, it should be pretty good for a mixed enclosure. So we're going to try for that. It should just be like two vegetation types, I think, if I'm remembering correctly from... What we've discussed about this previously. Um, and let's do a quick check on food type. Yeah, ground fruit just. So let's get some ground fruit. And just get a little bit in here where these guys are getting dropped in. Until we can status check them and verify whether or not we need more. What do I think of the PK season two? What do you, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, prehistoric kingdom? Do you mean like prehistoric planet season two? Or am I mixing up names? Yeah, prehistoric planet, okay. I definitely hope season two happens. I'd love to see it. 
Uh, they should totally do the Triassic. A high-end Triassic documentary would be freaking sick. Give me some Herrerasaurus action, too. Yes, please. All right. Uh, and have we disrupted the Apatos? Missing Tall Leaf, yes. I think their Tall Leaf was actually pretty close. I destroyed some, I think, in the mix there. Oh, they're also degrading over here on territory. Let's just mix some in over here. A little bit and that should be fine it should make a difference and then if they end up in this corner at least they got other tall leaf over here and maybe a little bit of forest is needed too we just had a little bit of just a lump of forest down here at the end that way they just got a tiny bit of extra margin on forest and tall leaf I just, I, I like the Triassic period. It's interesting and it doesn't get enough love. So I'm always gonna kind of want, ooh shit, Triassic stuff if I'm given the choice. Uh, where's my other Jeep? Here. You need to get this fixed. You need to get that fixed before you do anything else. Other Jeep, also do the same thing. That one is not in, as important. Stop. Do this, and then you can go. Okay, just do that. Just do that. Just get that actual gate. That's uh, bad. Please, please, and thank you. I don't need Coelophysis escaping all over the goddamn park because there's a billion of the little bastards. All right. You want to go do status checks? Well, why don't you go up here? Oh shit! Why don't you go all the way back here? Because that broke. Have been the three Ornithomimids in this game? Well, yeah. Spell them Gallimimus, Struthiomimus, and Arche Ornithomimus. I'm not going to actually spell them because that's not really content. We could spell the complicated one. That's A R C H A E O R N I T H O M I M U S. Arche Ornithomimus. Thank you. I'll take my trophy now for the spelling bee. All right, uh, you're still doing fences, yes, but not critical fences. Okay, and all the claw marks are gone. Let's get the shelters open. Some money starts coming back in here. Now, uh, fossils are in. We were working on Gigant. I don't think... Nice, Palladium. I don't think... Yeah, we didn't have any genome done for this so far. 50% from two amber is pretty good, though. You can do this. I doubt that name translates directly to anything. Although it does have a Terex in there, so that's like a finger or whatever, right? Is that what? Yeah, right, right? I think so. Now, now I'm doubting myself for a moment. Uh, been a while since I looked at Greek root words. What was I doing? I got distracted. Uh, digging for Giga. That's what we're doing. Oh, and actually, hold on. No, no, no. Let's do the research. Uh, get that contract completed. That's this one. Yeah, and that keeps us from doing the Giga dig, but that's okay. We're getting Gigant Spinosaurus, not Giganotosaurus, unfortunately. We're getting the little wee Stegosaurid. Um, and then we should have... Yeah, we can do um, a new batch of dinos, too, while all this gets done. So, what do we want? The Herreras were never finished, right? Mangro Calco? Yeah, and they should be CVPU. I don't remember if we had all the skins done. We do. So we could breed new Herreras. I think I was holding off on the Herreras because we don't really have space for them. So we'd have to just sell these ones, which kind of sucks. We bred new Serratos. We bred new Celos. Maybe we just breed more Chunkings. These guys are also currently missing water. But that's just because they haven't moved around yet. You blindfolded, yeah. That would be horrendous to watch. Let's do more Chunkings. We're going to leave this, the older Chunkings in the pen down here. Put the new ones up top. 
Svalbard Letho, just double checking the genetics. It looks good. We'll do one more batch. I think just like six in the upper area is fine. Because they're uh, they're not sociable, but we just need enough of uh, enough of them that they move around and keep their territory in okay shape. Okay, that's getting repaired. Uh, you're back to checking silos. Wait, is that the guy that's up here? Oh yeah, he's just got the fence. Repair in progress. Great, so you can do that. Probably you're gonna want another ranger station in here somewhere too. Let's get this. This, this. Any other damaged fences? No, that's it for repairs. Okay. Docile Humble, Social Docile Quench, those all seem fine. You can do that. All right. Uh, so it'll be a moment till fossils are done, and then scientist upgrades will be done shortly thereafter. And then we got to think about how this park gets expanded further. I think the aviary. Oh man, where are we gonna put the aviary? I guess we could. We can have the tour come off at a station, so that the aviary is connected to the path grid because we need it to be to actually hatch them, right? And then the tour can just serve as the visibility for the aviary. Either that, or we put it in down here. Um, but we don't know what aviary species we need yet, so we don't know if it's going to be a big or a small aviary. So yeah, I guess we don't worry about that yet. Then we need the Austral of Venator somewhere, too. We definitely don't have room for it in the southern segment of the park, so that we definitely need another carnivore paddock up the hill. And we're likely to get another large carnivore, too, in the park, I think. We should get something big, like a T-Rex or something. So we've also had to figure out where that goes. And I don't think the Herreras can necessarily cohab with anything else either. Maybe with the next tier? I don't know. We'll have to see. Hmm. Tough, tough deciding how to build this. This is a, not a very spacious park, is it? All right. Well, it'll probably be fine. We'll figure it out. You're missing rock. How are you missing rock now? Did your territory degrade from this side? I think you're just a liar. I'll just throw some more rock in here so they got a little bit extra. Uh, electric fence failure. Does that actually matter? Reboot th one tile of fence? I don't... I don't like that they're running to the fence corner, but I think that's coincidental. I think it's actually fine. Is that the only spot? Oh no, there's a single spot way up here. That's funny too. Oh, and I guess I never actually repaired that other gate section. Okay, there's discovery complete. Gigant, that'll be you. That should be the last rest of the genome there, I think. Yeah, because we're at 77 there, so one more dig should be pretty good. Okay, you can do that. In 16 seconds for those chungs, we'll airlift those over. And then probably just let the scientists kind of chill until we're ready for gigant. Yeah, no medical treatments. Our remaining genetics are locked behind conditional unlocks. So we won't worry about those so much. Um, and then yeah, we got large amenities. So amenities are done. I think a lot of the research is essentially done. We could do the aviary research. It's actually only nine welfare to knock that out. So that's gotta be the two welfare specialists and then a third person, which would be like this guy. Okay, yeah, we can do the, the aviary research actually next. We'll get these eggs done. The, right folks around this place. <clears throat> the, the, the pterosaur's gotta be coming soon. Watch your back. 
The predators There's only so many spots for it to slide in, you know? Just in the bushes. All right, let's do one. Let's spread these out a little bit so they have, you know, more opportunity to move around and merge territories. Although it looks like some of them are already combining. We've got two separate herds kind of going on, but it's not so bad. And I'd like to keep this beach as a beach if we can, and not just fill the sand with plants. So that's a little bit of extra space we're kind of losing out there as well. All right, and since those guys are hatched, we can do that aviary research. Six hours out of 11. I mean, this was a bad start, so that's fair. It's fair that we're not making par very well. We're not we're not here to make par time. We're here to just make things difficult. Yeah, so these two rest afterwards, but that's actually good because they'll be ready to go on other jobs. Okay, and then, yeah, one more batch of fossils, but that's just the single piece of amber here, right? Yeah. And then I think, uh, is that worth processing? I think it is because the expedition's only half done and they're likely to bring back more than just like another equivalent to a piece of amber. Yeah, so let's let all that run off screen while I think about if I want to move the Herreras now maybe or something. Also, it's contract time. Build a new park tour. I don't know if we can cheese that one. I don't remember. I think we do it regardless. Yeah, fossils. That's actually more fossils than I was expecting it to be. Um, so that's going to be a handful of batches here. Yeah, three sets of fossils effectively because we don't have enough space to process two fours and a three. Well, it's going to take a little bit to get those out then. Not so bad because we need to rest everybody, but... I'm pretty sure everybody will be back before we get a third batch even started, so. Not the best. I don't think we want to do another clutch of eggs right now. Schofeld is available with a welfare specialist, but I don't think I want, um, I don't think I want them to get stressed out at all. Also, there's the matter of, like, what would we hatch? I don't think we want more Chun Kings at all. These ones are actually only barely happy right now. I had to actually massage the environment a little bit to make their needs work. Um, so probably want to be careful about, about that. Hopefully the Gigants aren't too bad. This objective? I think the Oranos overlap with the Apatos, so those should be fine. It's the Gigants we got to worry about. They might fragment into smaller herds, which might be problematic. Happy guests are repeat customers. Let's keep them as and then basically this possible. enclosure we're just going to kind of let sit, I think, until some of the stuff dies off. But we should probably trim this down because this is like an apatosaur size enclosure for a bunch of coelophysis. And like nothing else. There's some chun kings in here still, but like three chun kings and some coelophysis is not a giant enclosure thing to do. Like, hmm. Other projects. Oh yeah, build a functioning tour ride is a thing. So if we do that, that doesn't do anything. What if we do a deactivate and activate? That doesn't do it. Okay, so I think we can still cheese this though because I think we can just do, um, yeah, 75K for a gyro. The gyro is a little smaller, so let's put in a gyro because I think we can probably sneak it in with a loop somewhere. Actually, let's put it in over here. This would be safe. Safest spot, I would imagine. Because we need to make sure we can get the full loop in so it counts as a complete tour. We just do one of those. You know, it's too bad the, uh, the contracts don't tell you to breed certain dinosaurs more often as an option. Because it was kind of fun in JWE 1 to build a park only based on what Finish contracts told you to put into the park. Really that was always kind of dedication. amusing. Not an option in this. We're just going to delete this, too. I, we're not keeping that. Okay, that's done. Fossils are done, too. Looks like the herds must have merged up top. Yep, 11%, so that will be complete. All right. It'd just be neat to have alternate ways to build a park. That's always fun. That's... 
I mean, we have the randomizer. The randomizer essentially does the same thing. But the fun thing with doing a build in, in JW1 based only on contracts is it kind of randomized your populations because you wouldn't always have, um, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't just clone a full minimum population for a dinosaur or like spam the dinosaur that's worth a lot. You get kind of a semi-randomized population of dinosaurs, um, which we could do. We could make that work potentially. But yeah, uh, oh, our scientists are arrested. We don't need the logistics specialist. Maybe we find a job for him too. I was gonna pause, but actually, no. Also, also, Arano's done. Yeah, we should probably just start digging up Arano. That's what we should do. Uh, and did we get Austro? We did. So we have Arano and Austro ready to go. Orano is complete, actually. I forgot. Australovenator, then, should be diggable. Yes. Actually, we have Orano complete. I totally forgot we had Orano complete from last time. My god, you must all be yelling at me in the comments. Um, okay, let's... Did we ever set these guys up, even? Uh, Oranosaurus. No, we didn't. GRB, which is Gambia River Basin with lethal baits oh which is yeah so gray and green weird uh gac so a c g actually just canceling out the thirsty is pretty good g a c c c nice humble like to see it a a a a and then g down here at the end so that's good enough. Nine. Hmm. All right, positive influence accelerates it, then he gets arrested. That's fine, we'll get the one group at least. This was upgraded, yeah? Extra scientist. I usually don't do that. We could actually do that. I think it, we have a... That's our only medical upgrade, too, right? I'm not sure it's worth it. 250k for an extra scientist feels bad. I don't know. It'd be good here. But we cheaper research is also, like, stiff competition. Um, viable 3. Okay. Humble, though. Nice. Two weak, weak skittish, weak, and humble. That's not bad at all. Um, I'll take that gladly. And then you can get rested. Oh, why don't we get the Arandos and Gigants? That's the goal for this episode. We'll get the pair of Herbivores out. But then we can work on Australo next episode. Photography, park rating, or tickets. They're not my problem. Let's do tickets. That's not always the case. This latest objective. You're coming up on four them. pretty close. Uh, park ratings check, maybe. Amenities are a uh, bad. Transport's a little bad. Big thing's the amenities, though. Uh, so how many do we have? One, two, three. Do we just have the basic set of three? It looks like it. Actually, let's check these first. Yes, okay. So these are not up to date. Yeah, it's been a slight shift in demand. 71, 8, 74. And then this should always be something with green. Photo booth, already something with green. So yeah, those are the optimal setup for those shops. Let's put in another set. So let's just start at food. We've got two areas that want food. Probably... Ah, oh, that not being a viable space to put that in there with that shelter is a bit shit. And it's looking to me like there's no other spots where we can cram this that's where it needs to be either. Maybe down there? Looks like there's some weird elevation differences happening in here too. Which I don't want to see. We invested money to flatten this park out and it didn't seem like it actually did it. Yeah, great. So what's 
Which part is wrong? That's raised. Probably that viewing gallery is raised, or the gate would be my guess. Can I fit this in over here? No, not the, not in the slightest. Why is that? Oh, because where this this is not flat. The spot where that is sitting is actually not flat. Why don't we move this out of there then? So we can re-flatten that out. Yeah, that was elevated slightly. Is anything else here been elevated? I hope not. Hopefully that was just the only weird thing. Let's put the large amenities in first. Um, and then we can always put a path behind them maybe that we can put the shelter on. Or we could, no, we know it doesn't fit front to back. Uh, that's, that's true just in general. We're going to photo booth. I'm thinking if we can redesign this to accommodate three in here somehow. I'm not sure if it's possible. It's damn close. Well, anyway, that's where our shelter can go once that's rebuilt. I'm pretty sure that'll fit in there somewhere. Um, I mean, we've got open space. Like these, the spacing on these little sections is not ideal. So there's probably work that could be done there to improve that. There's also like this, or we could slide all this down. We got a whole open section here that's not being used. The other option is we get a path in over here somewhere. Do you think? No. Uh, let's just do shopping here. And we'll find somewhere to sneak drinks in. If, if we can, I guess. Maybe we can't get it in. Maybe. Maybe we can't get it in. That's what she said. Um, photo booth like that. And then drinks. Now, where do they want drinks? down here by this big hotel. That would have to cut into the baryonyx pen, which is a problem and a half. We could cut into the silophysis pen. Or we just move this hotel out of here. Let's do this. Let's take this hotel. Let's chuck it over here out of the way. We'll build large amenity for drinks. Um, we're gonna put it in over here, but hopefully it's everything's close enough, it's fine. Then we're gonna see if we can fit a hotel back and around this place if we need it. And then maybe because we have the big hotel, we don't need the little one, that's also possible. It might be, do we have another little hotel or just one little, one big? One big, one little. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, this is actually 100% accommodation rating still. So it's actually not bad. It might be fine. Four minutes, four minutes, one minute. We'll just get some stuff rearranged before we pause. Let's put this probably down here. Actually, no, There's the gate is still accessible. Let's put it there. Because then we can maybe do something else with this space if we need to reclaim it a little bit. I'm just going to delete this. We're just going to do that. 3.8 amenities, 100%. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we, we pulled that together. That's not bad at all. Two. 
Two minute 44, two minutes on that. I might wait for this to come back before processing this last fossil because we're not gonna... Well, we do have Schofeld ready to go. We could have Schofeld though on another set of Aranos. Yeah, let's do that if we can. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll get two sets of Rhinos out to make sure they don't, the herd doesn't fragment and we don't run up into issues up here. I never hey, four stars. About your abilities. Okay. Now, we do technically have two sets of dinosaurs left in the randomizer. I wonder if I should just roll them both right now. We have nine dinosaurs. The roster is 13. There's only four dinosaurs left to unlock. Let's do them both. Three stars, Velociraptor and Pentaceratops. Four stars, Tyrannosaurus and Tropognathus. Interesting. Another Rex build. Another small carnivore, too. So that leaves us with how many herbivores actually in this park. Hepato, Chung, Gig, Orano, Penta. Five herbivores? This is just like the fucking movie park. The movie park is like five or six herbivores. We rolled a very carnivore heavy. So the pentas go in with a seal of physis then in this pad. We'll have to cut this down for sure at that point. But we can do that. All right. But then the rex is going to have to go. I don't know if I want the rex in the back. Maybe we should we should probably use the tour cars to tour some small carnivore pens and the aviary. So what if we if I put in a station, a tour station, the end of the line that leads to the aviary, I wonder if it attracts people to that segment of the park or if we can literally just have a tour station and then a path and then the aviary with no other buildings, no bathrooms, no amenities, nothing. I don't know if that works. It works with the monorail, because the monorail, I think it works with the monorail, actually I'm not sure, because the monorail does have visibility. I'm actually not completely sure if that does work, now that I think about it. Well, whatever. Didn't document in various reports. We're gonna yeah, kind of go in order here, so we'll get the trap as long as I have a uh, and I the really Tyranno at the very end. <laughs> so we don't really have to worry about the aviary yet. Up my hard drive. All right, research complete, sure. All right, four eggs in the second batch, weak, skittish, social, weak, skittish, humble, tolerant, and weak, skittish. Yeesh, a lot of reds. Five, six, and seven, hatch them. Then that dig team's due in 45 seconds. Nice, nice run from that Serato, trying to get that goat. And apparently struggling with it. We could also start selling off this excessively large amount of Coelophysis we have so we can cut this pen down. I guess the other problem is if we cut this pen down, the tour starts here. So how do we cut this pen down? Do we make it a weird, like, angled piece like this? We could just cut it in half and then put another dinosaur in the back? I don't know. I don't really like having the pens, the borders connect, when you're on a map where the storms damage the fences. Even though we literally already have the borders connecting. But I've minimized the amount of space where the borders connect. Cutting this pen in half and having it directly connected is a bit more of a problem. We'll have to figure it out. I'll have to think about it. It's not immediately important. Also, uh, I will say that we have a lot of tour vehicles out, so it looks like the tour bug we seen in a few older episodes has been fixed or doesn't affect this jurassic tour it only affects maybe the jurassic park gear tours i don't know who knows we could go back and check some time to see if that bug is still active but honestly i don't think i'm gonna bother i think we'll just hope it's not should have seen what these guys social needs were maybe oh well uh, and our fossils are in. 
starting on the Ostra. So we definitely get this guy processed, and then we just fill it up with whatever. I wonder if Ostras attack cars. I don't think the Herrera would. I think the Herrera and Velociraptor can be toured safely. Some cars are attacked and some aren't, I think, too. And I've never, I never remember which vehicles aren't attacked. I always forget that. If you know that offhand, you should leave a comment on that. Um, I'm not going to look it up. We're just going to put the small carnivores on tours and the big carnivores down here by the visitor area. That's not dangerous in any way. Chungking, they fragmented though. And the, look how small this territory is. This is four Chungkingosauruses. I think the problem is these guys are sleeping. The name of this oh no. They are dueling maybe? Where the earliest fossilized remains of well, whatever. Uh, okay, two minutes on the next batch. Hopefully the social need is low i'm not sure that it is though oh also the tyrannosaurus we got the can cretaceous skin that is a weird looking arano not gonna lie it's like uh like mossy looking population requirements like two or three it looks like oh they need ground fruit actually not leaf maybe the gigant was leaf which is kind of my thing. It should be fine. Because there is, there is a decent amount of plant in here, ground fruit, and the requirement's really rather low, actually, for the amount of ground fruit they need. So hopefully if we have, you know, eight or so Aranosaurs, maybe a few more, they can uh, find each other, form a decent territory, and be happy. Yeah, it looks like comfort's going up pretty quick. That's good. All right, let's get another four in. Let's um, let's try and string them down this way. Although that one's already moving that way. Like these and there's ticket sales. Happen from places of comfort. I see and appreciate what you're doing. Okay, so Gigant should be ready too now. I'm going This is all we're gonna do for the Aranosaurus for now. We do these seven. We check them to see what the margin on their territory looks like. We probably push the Aranos fairly hard to make sure the territory stays large due to having a large amount of Aranosaurs. Um, and the gigs. Do you not get to see... I remember... The, oh, there it is. Min Pop 2. Min Pop 2. Okay, Min Pop 2 is not bad. Basically, their, ter their social need, both for the Gigant and the Arana, will be met every time they do a social animation or duel or anything like that. And these guys were strictly one, which is a neat role for Chungking to fill. All right, so Gigant, we're looking at SHPA. SH was what? Wait. Am I, am I blind? SH. Okay, from the top, from the top. Snoring Desert, Dud Valley, Great Sandy, Champlain. Oh, maybe that's SDH, Salar Del Hosco. I didn't put the Del in there because you don't need it. That's got to be it. There's no other SH. Me forgetting how my own code works. Fantastic. Classic. Classic programmer moment. Um, Papu Rana. I hate that George Lambert's goddamn message is up. Interesting color combo. Green and yellow. We'll see how that looks. Green Bay Packer dinos. Let's go, I guess. C. One pip of quenched. Next. I lost track. A and C. Nice, nice. Cancel out the short lived. Very good. Also, I'm going to say this right now. I really like randomizing the genetics like this. I think this is super cool. Instead of just customizing it the same way every time, just randomizing it's really neat. We actually rolled a T here. C A C A T. That's three pips. Seventy-five percent humble. Beautiful shit. One available genetic modification. The last slot is actually tolerant. Interesting. That is a pretty good roll for the gigants, I think. 
I don't think tolerant matters, but you know, still pretty good. Getting three pips humble is, is phenomenal. Also, nothing getting to 100 unless it has bonuses is really cool, too, for making things feel special. Again, nine. Rude. Yeah, we'll do you. We didn't have points. We have, like, one scientist with a point available. Yeah, but it's the welfare guy, which ain't great. Except the danger comes with the territory. Let's make sure we keep it there. Get these going. So, if we carve up the, the seal of fire suspend into Penta plus Celo, and then like Herrera or something. Actually, no, they'll probably just put him back here. The Velociraptors and the Herreras. Then we'll cut the Celo pen down. Maybe we'll just move the tour. We could also move the hatchery. Maybe we move the gate and we stick the tour right here and the path can connect through here, weirdly. I was able to actually get a path through this way, right? Oh, but I don't know if the tour fits. Yeah. I don't think it does. We could push this back. It's gonna look weird. I don't know. I, I It's a hard... It's a hard thing to decide what to do with because like there's so many dinos in here. I just, when do they start dying? That's the other thing we could consider. 52 seal, 54, 54 coelophysis I've cloned. That's insane. Um, expected lifespan 116, 89. These guys are gonna live for forever. Oh God, storm. Hey, keep Fuck off, the there's a storm. Build amenities is always free. I got super distracted and I wasn't prepared for a storm. Open all shelters. Can you fi 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 Okay, you already fixed it. I like that. It's really funny that that's the thing that happens. If you click on a vehicle right next to a damage thing, hit the repair button. It actually repairs without unpausing the game. Like, weird. Weird behavior, but that's what it seemed to do. All right, we got these gigants. Let's finish the storm. We'll get the first wave of gigants out. Antisocial. I missed that they had antisocial. It's only 10% dominance. Oh, but this guy is super alpha. 40 and 25. 40 and 25, but antisocial. That one's always the alpha. There's no way around it. Okay, so we want a small herd. We'll, we'll hatch these six. Like like we discussed previously, we're hatching whole clutches as a rule. So we hatch these six. And hopefully that's enough that they can stay in their needs well enough. If these guys are leaf... Hold on. Uh, we can't check their diet here. Well, let's just hatch them regardless. We can check the diet later. If they're leaf, it should actually be really easy for their needs to be met, because there's a lot of leaf in that pen. Actually, we shouldn't fix that now. Oh, that's um an actual goddamn twister. Holy shit. It's been so long since I've seen a twister in this game. Uh-huh. Well, um, pause. Let's look at the twister position. Okay. Also, those are Ranos. Let's do a real quick pause status check here. Okay. The Ranos, 80% means they're actually completely comfortable. Their, their herd hasn't separated out yet. It's going to, though. But at least there's two on that side. It shouldn't be that bad. Okay. We want to basically sit on this Jeep until that thing hits the fence. Uh, unless it does that, it sends us away. We're trying to stay in the area. Oh, that's not quite where I wanted to go either. I didn't really want to go into the pen. Somehow, it... 
skipped over the fence entirely. Intriguing. Intriguing, intriguing. So then it's into the Serato enclosure. That's actually pretty... Funny. That's it? Seriously? The first twister we've had in like a thousand years and it breaks a power line. Wow. Uh, sorry, the gate just broke. Nope. 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 Sorry, Mr. Ceratosaurus. That's a nope from me. You're not going nowhere. All right, get that repair, get that repair. Oh, that's right. That guy only has one slot because he is administering far too many other areas. Anything else damaged? No. Everything good. Well, I was thinking if those Coelophysis fences went down and we had Coelophysis breakout, that would be a good time to actually sort out and uh, get rid of some of the guys. But... Uh, Everything appears to have turned out good. Um, so we have no reason to do such a thing. I'm waiting for those claw marks to drop before we open the park. There we go. Well, let's get that queued up and then crack these open. Uh, you need fuel, gas for your gas tanks, sure. Gigants, still a minute. Fine. And just because I don't like leaving stuff broken, we'll queue all those repairs up. Then we'll check these fences back here, but I think with the twister, the fences don't get damaged other than the twister, right? That's what it seems to be. Although this fence went down, so that's actually not true. That gate did get damaged. Let me just the gates get damaged? I don't know. Weird. Um, fossil processing. Yes. Amber, 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 you, you. Yeah, that's better. Dig team. Oh, Ostro's done, huh? Next. Velociraptor and Penta. Let's do Penta first, because we can put that in. Penta will allow us to cut down the Coelophysis Ben. To accommodate the Pentas plus Coelophysis. Anki, three and two fights one. Son of a bitch. That's ass. That's real ass. Well, we need fights for Tyrannosaurus anyway. So it's probably fine. Given that. Uh, or let's look at the Orano herd. So they have plenty of margin on ground for it. I'd like to get more then. I think at least another batch of Oranosaurus is in order as well. Let's get our money's worth from that enclosure. Gigants. Oh, yeah, I was going to check what these guys eat. Well, let's just get them on the ground then and worry about what they eat later. We'll check them when we actually check their needs. We might be able to actually grow the herd if they eat the same thing as the Apatos because they'll have so much food that it won't really matter that they're antisocial. Let's get at least one more of these out right away. Research complete on Anki 3. Hey! We already got the... Two fights won by somebody. Not too shabby. We can do the Penta research pretty quick. Okay. Very cool. Um, ratings are... We're four. I wonder if we ever dipped on anything. Let's not worry about it. Seems fine. Uh, so if we're going to do Pentas, it's actually probably time to get rid of Chungkings. These, these extra Chungkings, the first wave that are the wrong color. Um, there should be just three. 
Because the they'll fight with the pentas. Although maybe. Hmm. No, I'll just get rid of them. I was gonna say maybe we could use it to get the fights one on the pentaceratop, but if we're already at two, we should probably just wait for that to be three or whatever. Maybe it already is three. Service you have here doesn't quite live right. up to its name. Uh, Gigant on the ground. That's a chung. That's a chung. First one. Here it is. Okay, ground leaf. High ground leaf requirement though. It's big. Also, we should get a nice little look at their color. That's not bad. I like the green and yellow modeling. More yellow than green. That's a good look for I think for a stegosaurid. Also, weird hip spike being bigger like that. That's a weird. I never noticed that on the Gigant. That they got just the bigger plate there on the over the hips. But manageable. Hmm. Just watch out for those shoulders. How many spikes do they have on their tail? Because a lot of these guys have like eight or six or something, don't they? He's got four. How many spikes do Chung Kings have on the Thagomizer? Uh, Chung King. Yeah, Chung has eight. Okay. Please. Chung is eight and Gigan has four. Hmm. I would have thought that all like the Kentrosaurian style ones would have had similar amounts of spikes on the Thagomizer, but maybe that's a poor assumption to make. I think Wuro and Stego both have four spikes on the Thago. I think. Comfort down on Shung. Okay, somebody's unhappy. Add task. Get in there. Okay, get those guys sold. Uh. Okay, four more Aranosaurs. Seems fine. That looks like a good number to me. Seven. So if we do, it's time to do this. We go here, put a point into welfare. You can rest. You can rest. Seven. And then we have the logistics specialist available only because the welfare guy had to rest which means penta can't be researched yet anything else to research we could push for large power staff we can we need more dudes to do that um monorail main thoroughfare sure let's do main thoroughfare Okay. And we still got more gigants flying over. Would like to wrap this one up though. Asset transportation in progress. How are the Chungs doing? Missing ground for 84%. Yeah, because they lost this section. Which is a bit shit. Um here's what I might do. The Apatos seem to be hanging out over here quite a lot. Also, the Apatos seem to have a larger inherent territory radius. Let's try this. Let's try and do... Wait, let's make sure we get the right stuff. Oh, also, technically missing forest right now, like an asshole. Let's do a, a smidge of forest. Really, guy? Because you're missing that section? Fuckers. How much fucking forest do I need? Maybe we'll do some, some decorative trees here. This is too much forest space getting taken up there. I don't like it. Tall leaf, though. That's what we want. Tall leaf. I want to do... Whoops. Tall leaf, tall fruit. No. Um, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, just delete this. Just delete all this. There we go. Uh, tall leaf with ground leaf. This one, Tempeskia, specifically. I want to do this, and I want to extend this basically out into here more. Like that. And then we want to grab the fruit. Hey, Realm, how's it going? And we want the fruit uh, a little bit more centralized to try and keep these Chung Kings happy, because they are... 
kind of being cranky pants. So let's try and mix some in if we can a little bit in just various areas. Basically thread it through randomly. Wherever they end up, they'll have a little bit. Try to keep an eye on the apatos here and not make them get too upset, but something like that. Maybe fit a little bit over here. There's no pados back here right now either. So if they don't ever go this way, this is also a good place to just have chunking food. Okay, well, what do they think now? 100%. Under 97 on the Apatos, but we're missing Forest. Gigant isn't settled yet. And the Oranos are good. So we need decorative trees. What kind of decorative trees do we want to put in here? I think we'll thread them into the water, maybe. Oh, the other thing we could do is just put the, eh, we could just be lazy and do this. And just pull these trees a little bit more into the waterway, like this. That doesn't ruin the aesthetic we're going for here. And anybody who's got the center waterway available should have plenty of water. Yeah. I think that's probably the better compromise. I think I like that. All right, you're close. You're just missing a little bit of forest. All right, why don't we end this episode here then? We'll make sure the gig ants are fully settled in between episodes. I'm sure they're fine when the rest of them arrive. And then we'll see next episode about adding more gig ants. And then we'll have to start expanding up the hill a little bit further, I think. So until then.